Hello again, my Jehovah's Witness friends. Today we're looking at Luke chapter 10, chapter 17 specifically, but I'm going to start here, verse 1. After this, the Lord appointed 72 others and sent them on ahead of him, two by two, into every town and place where he himself was about to go. And he said to them, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. And we'll skip down here to verse 8. Whenever you enter a town and they receive you, eat what is set before you. Heal the sick in it and say to them, The kingdom of God has come near to you. But whenever you enter a town and they do not receive you, go into its street and, and say, Even the dust of your town that clings to our feet we wipe off against you. Nevertheless, know this, that the kingdom of God has come near. I tell you, it will be more bearable on that day for Sodom than for that town. So now let's, let's go to verse 17, the verse that we'll be looking at. One of the verses we'll be looking at. This is after the 72 have returned. And it, and it reads, The 72 returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. Now let us turn to Acts in the chapter of in 16th chapter of Acts and we're gonna this is uh, Paul and Silas in prison and this is leading up to why they were imprisoned and we're gonna start in chapter 16 here as we were going to the place of prayer we were met by a slave girl who had a spirit of divination and brought her owners much gain by fortune telling. She followed Paul and us crying out, These men are servants of the Most High God who proclaim to you the way of salvation. And chapter 18. And this she kept doing for many days. Paul having become greatly annoyed turned and said to the spirit, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And it came out of her that very hour. So we're, we're seeing a pattern here in these two, in these two verses. Demons are subject to whose name? According to these two verses. Chapter 10 of Luke. Verse 17. The 72 returned with joy saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. Demons are subject to whose name? And Acts 16, verse 18. And this she kept doing for many days. Paul, having become greatly annoyed, turned and said to the Spirit, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And it came out that very hour. Demons are subject to whose name? Looking forward to hear from you all. Thanks.